Hey guys, what's up? It's me again. You know what? Sometimes I realize that in life, when you see the media, you see the news or whatever, every discussion is a very muddy battle. It's like, yes, it's a no, no, it's a yes, but it can be both. But sometimes it depends on the race. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of confusing. And something just clicks in your brain and you're like, I'm just gonna have fun because I can't change it because you live by being a victim. And a lot of people start to think just like me. Look at this. Blech. But if you like the content, share, like, hit the bell notification, and cue the video. If we had a nuclear war, it would be worth it if we could just save one life. <laughs> <laughs> one life. That's true. That's actually true. If, if if you vaccinate, you're saving your grave. <laughs> and that is your social responsibility. Everybody! One of the people I look up to, who I've begun to love, is Klaus Schwab. And he said by 2030, you will own nothing and be happy. And I stand with him because I am not selfish! <laughs> and those who stand against it are selfish! Oh my god. Is this real? <laughs> my closing statement, my only regret is that I didn't stop Rihanna Taylor's killers. I still remember like it was yesterday. I was shopping at Target in the Pride section looking for a shirt for my six-year-old openly gay transgender nephew after I got off work at Starbucks where I'm a barista. But at least I know that I was helping the LGBTQ community while Brianna Taylor was killed. Every and night I lay on my pillow and I pray that Dr. Fauci that's would make a vaccine for white supremacy. I hate myself! Thank you. That's your time. Appreciate it. <laughs> well, They don't even know what they have to say. You know why? Because they think this is normal. They think is this is normal. And they need to respect it. This is crazy, bruh. Right? Right or not? <laughs> I'm gonna take a knee for George Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could you do that over there so we can get the next person? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. If we could, uh, so we'll take like a five minute break and wipe all that down. So it's 8.30. So as you can see, this is the new normal. Okay, let me say something generally serious. Look, man, back in the day, you would see a doctor rap about how you have to cure yourself, take your medicine, bada beam, bam, boom. That came out. I showed a video about this. A nurse put your mask on, and I was like, <clears throat> what, "What's happening?" Right? The fact that everything I think that like Babylon B is like we make swear weird jokes or whatever, and they predict the future. It's like you can't predict stupidity because it's a very simple thing. People that don't have any common sense and they only think about themselves by saying I care about you. That's much I'm thinking about myself. They can never be wrong because I'm thinking about me for you, <laughs> you know? It's kinda weird and it keeps switching. And that's why I like this Stein dude. He's good. And he started a trend that the left-wing people, they hate it. They hate it with a passion. And I love it because you can Instead of making joke out of them, you can pretend to be them. And even they are like, <clears throat> I can't say anything against this because that's a phobic. I'm not sure which one, he will invent one. How can a crazy leftist criticize a crazy leftist? Because the only way you're gonna win is by being more crazy, right? So 
how do we live in a society the more crazy i am the more it shows that i love you more than you love yourself that's actually like the patterns back in the day bam see what you made me do the guy said the Fauci had to create a jab to cure racism we can just blow everybody with the nuclear bomb to save one person oh man that is so freaking good but hey there's more <laughs> that's what i ask you i ask you to sign up for this man right here he would do it for you who's gonna stand up and sign up for this sir i won't ask you again please go behind the podium <laughs> this but i am but i actually ended up meeting hunter biden and hunter biden ended up befriending me and that night we ended up going back to my apartment <laughs> and i had to say this i want this on the record i saw hunter biden smoke crystal methamphetamine and use fentanyl with an uber eats driver <laughs> that delivered us carl's jr and i saw this in my own two eyes and i saw them do other stuff I saw them inject things that was not the vaccine. I saw them use a spoon and Hunter was all about it. He was, oh, I don't care. My dad's a president, 81 million votes, this and that. He was having the time of his life, the bell of the ball. You don't get to pick and choose who is trans. Just because my daughter is a gender fluid species, human, ex-human, you're going to show her the same respect that you would show Rachel Levine. You're going to show her the same respect. You're going to call Rachel Levine a woman. Then I want my daughter to be called a lizard. I just saw another <laughs> district <laughs> now is providing litter boxes for a student that identifies as a cat. And my daughter, Lily, identifies as a lizard. And everybody's getting so mad because I want to put a terrarium in the classroom. They're looking at me like I'm crazy. I understand we're not going to put the temperature at 85 degrees like the other students would not like that but a small accommodation like a terrarium for my daughter would be very simple very very simple thing i mean all i can say man alex stein is just like one step to cure mental health issues for most people this just want a little sense right that only you can beat a bully that doesn't know that he's a bully is by being a better bully, but you enjoy being a bully. Not one that is getting beaten by mama and papa or doesn't get food or whatever. No, a bully that likes being a bully because it's just fun with other people at other bullies that are really trying to be a bully, but because they have a bad situation. I don't know, because mentally it's very exhausting. It's like my brain is more calm. And I can, you can, you can tell me, hey, your mom died. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. She suffocated. But hey, man, at least she had to suffocate from COVID. I just want to live at peace, like in the 90s, not knowing what's going around and focus in the country that I am and try to make it better and hope the other ones are trying to do the same in the long run. That's it. That's my focus. I can't help everybody. And I don't want you to use my taxpayers to help everybody while we are suffering in such a way i don't know it's just the way i think i just want to relax and enjoy my life so give stein a subscribe and instagram the guy's funny hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think and see you guys next time Peace. don't get me wrong my